Well, good morning. We got here on curve uh, 30. Actually, the tangent out of curve 30, that's 30 down there. And we're at mile post, uh, it's about 7.8. So I got, a, I got a little problem here with this track, if you can see that. This, uh, this is the north side over here. So this north side rail is low. We've got a cross-level deviation uh, in relation to the south rail. And also what's happening is this is sliding. This track's sliding. So I'm going to have to go back there, come out of the curve, and I'll plot this. And, and we're going to pick this rail up, and we're going to straighten this out. So i got to match this where we're a little wavy in here. I have, and i got to match the curve into the tangent up here. So show you the uh, before picture. I might try this uh, before and during and after splice them together and see what happens i'm uh, i'm just learning how to do this stuff so uh okay we've uh this is my track inspection gauge you watched that video i've got real good uh gauge here that's uh just about perfect just a little over 56 and a half inches but my cross level is an inch and a half out so uh it's a little plus plus that little line spot in here that's uh i don't like it i didn't really show you the last time when i showed you that track inspection gauge these little buttons but very good so you can see them a little better now and what's happening here i think uh, well you can see that so all right we'll see what happens i'm going back and make a plot on it and we'll see what happens okay we're back again sorry about the short cutoff on that last clip try to put this together we're going to make a plot here uh, what we got i ran a surface lift through this just now to try to smooth the cross level up and come back here and make a plot on it so what's this uh, plot doesn't show me cross level it shows me track alignment only track alignment so we're going to try to smooth this up a little bit if you watch your light carriage up there see that that's where that real bad uh, inch and a half dip was that's pretty much smoothed out. You like the top of your light carriage, if you can see it up there. It's running pretty smooth on the track. So the cross level is real good. I just got to get this uh, line straightened out on it. That's where that, uh, that's where that dip was at. See this uh, line's going down here? That's where that little dip was at. So we're going we're gonna to have to smooth this up here. And, uh, nice uh, straight line if we can probably gonna take uh, two or three passes this uh, probably not gonna happen in one pass but we gotta get a start on it anyway Had a couple other places I had to take care of this morning so just getting here this afternoon Uh, liner needle this is, uh, this is where it's registering on this liner needle I'll show you that when I line the track up got a, made another video I think down there on curve uh, 49 of me plotting, plotting that curve if I remember correctly okay we're gonna end that plot there Back here behind us, you can see that uh, line sway in there that, where the track goes leg at. So we're gonna try to take that out. Alrighty. So we're gonna end this plot. We'll 
first thing we'll do, we'll turn our rail follower off. The rail follower references the uh, front mask and the rear receiver against that rail. We've got great rail on the right, on the right here, so everything's referenced against that. So it's the same reference all the way through. Let's uh, go over here. out of that. That's the, how the computer solved that that bets to fit. We have to go up here and enter our super elevation. Now this is tangent track, so we don't want any uh, super elevation in it. We got zero, zero, zero. So that's good. No super elevation. Done. And that's probably not a bad so I can move this. I can move this any way I want over here with my computer keys. So uh, I'm going to save that for the first pass. And we'll go up here and save it. Done. Okay, curve file saved. Time to go back and uh, line some track. Alrighty, we're lining the track. Put your earplugs in. Quite noisy in here. I'm gonna keep that liner needle in the green. I got everything set up here and got started. This is railroad. Ha 
<laughs> I love it. do my thing fix a little place here on the track here on curb 30 so wow what a difference what a difference in one pass it's really a big difference okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this hope you enjoyed it uh tamp a track with me and see how i do everything okay 
have a really good day. All right, a little bit more follow up here. I thought I'd come out and check cross level. And it's you, you saw how messed up this track was. And now it looks this section in here that was all over the place had twist in it, warp in it. Goodness, that uh, it's not 100% perfect yet. But come out here and check this cross level. And we were only a half inch out of cross level. And for uh, only making a couple passes on the tamper, as messed up as this place was, and uh, the amount of warp that it had in it, you know, I told you before, well, I didn't show you, I think I told you the warp. So when your tracks like this, and it goes here, goes here goes here that's track warp so it was quite a bit in here really when uh, uh, when I started tamping those uh, needles that kind of surprised me it had that much but anyway it's uh oh my what a big difference so here's a little bit uh, more of the follow-up on this this uh, where I lined here it looks uh, it looks really really good for what it was for one pass on the line and goodness pretty uh pretty happy with it pretty happy with it that half inch of uh cross level deviation that's uh looks nice nice track got it all filled in and we'll let the train run over it for for a week or so and come back and probably make another surface lift or line it again if i have to but i think it'll hold pretty well here's here's the problem why this is happening okay right up here 35 years ago set this down 35 years ago this is why this track's sliding up uh right in here right in here this bank had slid away so what we did was came up here and dug that out where it slid away and put six by six those those old womanized six by sixes we run them out here and run a uh a wall that way and then run it back into the bank and fill it with big rock and i'm having a problem with this holding so i gotta come up here about every two three months and fix this up and i think what's happening is those timbers being they were probably cheap womanized timbers at the time are rotting away and that's causing that to want to slide out there and that's what's happening when this track sliding out so i forgot to tell you that in the other videos <laughs> so i wanted to wanted to let you know that all righty well i got to get cleared up because uh, they're wanting to run a train here in about uh, 10 minutes so i gotta get down here to our mile post eight siding and clear up for him and it's getting late in the day and that'll be it for me so thanks again very much for watching i really do appreciate it